Hi, welcome to the Ruckus Feature Explainer Series. I'm Terry Henry. Uh, today we're looking at uh, upgrading your Unleash system. So uh, there's really two ways to do the upgrade. In this video, we are going to uh, do the automatic upgrade or the online upgrade. So assuming that your, uh, your Unleash network is connected to the internet, uh, this is the easiest and recommended way to do it. So have a look here. This is the Unleash dashboard, which you should be familiar with. Uh, and so we have three access points that are working at the moment. Um, and so in order to start that upgrade process, we go to Admin and Services here. Expand that out. And uh, what you'll see is I'm running uh, 200.7 at the moment, uh, and I'm going to upgrade to 200.8. So uh, I've, I've um, expanded out system so under admin and services it's system then I'm going to go to administration and upgrade um, actually before I do that though I'm going to back up my current system so if you go to backup and restore and click the backup here that just takes a second so it's now downloaded this file uh, this backup file of my configuration so I can close that out uh, then I'm going to go to upgrade and uh, as I said, so there's there's the online upgrade, so it's download firmware from Ruckus Wireless, or local upgrade. So there's another video on how to do a local upgrade, um, but the online upgrade is the preferred method. It's by far the easiest, and especially if you look at my APs here, I have three different models. I have a 710, a 720, and a 510. Um, and in order to do a, a local upgrade, I have to upload firmware for each one of those separately. However, if I do an online upgrade, it's going to upgrade them all with a single, uh, basically with a single click. So I'm going to choose online upgrade. And then in the, in the pull down box here, so if I say check for updates, it's going to go out to the uh, rec support site and check to see what versions are available beyond the version you're running. So it tells me I'm running uh, 200.7.10.202.94. And if I pull down this box, the only version I have available to me is 200.8.10.3.243, or, you know, just uh, 200.8. Um, so if there was multiple versions to go to from the current version I was running, then it would list those in that pull down box, and you can choose which one you're going to go to. But in my case, Really, I've only got one, so I'm just going to choose that, and I see the check mark appear. So this is what I've chosen, and then I'm going to say upgrade. Now you could uncheck this auto reboot um, when it's done, uh, but however, you know, I'm just going to let it automatically reboot after the upgrade finishes. That's the easy way to do it. So we'll just click the upgrade button. Um, and it's going to say you've chosen to upgrade with the auto reboot, uh, expect some delays, right? Because it's going to, you know, upgrade each one of your APs and reboot them. So there's definitely going to be some system downtime here. Um, so we'll say, okay. And then it shows you this box. So it's, so it's updating those, you know, um, and it's really quick to update and then it goes through this rebuilding the Unleashed network. So this does take a few minutes. It legitimately takes about five minutes or so to, uh, to rebuild the Unleashed network and, uh, and reboot. So really that's all this is doing is it's, it's doing the final upgrade process and rebooting your AP. So it does take a few minutes. Um, and, uh, and once it's done, it's going to put me back into the login screen. So we'll, uh, Fast forward a little bit after that's happened. Um, I actually know I'm on a new version because uh, on 200.8, I now have switches. Um, there's a few other things to see here. Uh, and it's complaining that one of my APs doesn't have enough power. Um, to power all the features. So that's a new feature also in 200.8. Uh, so I know I'm on the new version, but if we go back to admin and administration here and look at my upgrade screen now, um, I see my current version is now 200.8, which is what I upgraded to. 
and the under select firmware version for the online upgrade it's saying unleash is up to date so if you want to check to see if there's a new version available uh, from this point on you can go to the to that upgrade uh, choose the online upgrade and then it will tell you whether it's up to date or whether there's a new version uh, pending for you to, to upgrade to uh, but basically that's it so um, this is the online upgrade, as I said. If you want to do a local for whatever reason, maybe you're not connected to the internet uh, and you want to browse to local files, or maybe you need to do a downgrade, which you cannot do a downgrade through the online upgrade um, choice, but you can do that through local upgrade, um, that's an option too, and that'll be another video. So have a look at that if you want to see how to do a local upgrade. But for sure, the online upgrade is the easiest and certainly the preferred method to do it. All right. So I uh, hope you enjoyed and have a great day. Take care.